Hello, my name is Rahat and I'm going to turn it and this is my side on Spurs to sit here. So starting off, uh, I'm going to give you the official definition of, from the NHS for what this lecture is. This lecture is a, um, this is a common learning difficulty that affects reading, writing and spelling. Um, this lecture is a lifelong problem, but it does not affect intelligence. Uh, Sign of this lecture, you may read or write slowly, confuse all the letters and words, as in, like, let's say, there's a word like walk, you may, you may like, jump up the words. Uh, you, may have, you may have poor and inconsistent spelling, so your spelling obviously isn't that well. Uh, struggle plan the organisation, yeah, I think it's in time. Uh, statistics, roughly one in ten people have a degree of dyslexia. Dyslexia is the most, is the most common learning difficulty out of all learning difficulties. Uh, people with dyslexia are typically more creative than the average person. Children, are, children have 50% chance of having dyslexia if one parent has it, and children that have two parents, I think they're 100, I'm not sure, but I think they're 100% chance of having it. And the US Department of Health estimate that 15% of the population have dyslexia. So 15% of the overall population, which is kind of like, yeah, next one. Uh, yeah, symptoms. So before they start, before school, before children start school, the symptoms of dyslexia are delayed speech development with children of the same age. The children <coughs> that are the same age them, they, they will develop, they will develop in their um, learning of words quicker. Uh, speech problems, jumbling up phrases and, and being unable to pronounce long words properly. So that's just, yeah, not being able to pronounce long words. Difficulty with learning letters of the alphabet, so being unable to learn letters of the alphabet, so being unable to remember it. So when, when children start school, so from, I think it's six, so from that, so like preschool, nursery reception to like year seven, about that age, uh, the problems that like learning names, reading slowly and making errors when reading loud, uh, asking, questions, asking questions when already, but trying to write, which is so being able to give good answers when speaking, but struggling to put that on paper. Um, and poor handwriting, slow writing speed. Then moving on to teenagers and adults, the, uh, Symptoms include like, stuff like difficulty writing essays, letters, reports, difficulty writing for examination, poor spelling, then as well, poor spelling goes through all of them. Uh, struggle to remember things such as tins and burn numbers and struggle to meet deadlines. Thank you, that's our presentation.